Hello, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. As you see, my inventory is a little bit full. I've got some suspicious stew in my hand. And um, I've been out looking for lost treasures. Let's see what we've got here. We've got a couple of the hearts of seas, and I've already found some buried treasures. And I got a bunch of emeralds nuggets and that i got a conch and i found a trident i killed i killed a dude for a trident but um let's let's um let's get some treasure because um look what's in front of me yeah let's go check out this treasure real quick um i checked to see that it wasn't taken um so i came in here and i went under here i went swimming and i tried to go swimming i tried to make it oh god oh i can't just do it okay get out of here then do it the easy way and i realized there's some like stuff in here that i i could most likely use um but probably not but let's in here we got another treasure so um with this treasure oh man what do I want to drop? Do I want to drop anything? We can leave the sword in there, I guess. We don't need the sword. Um, is there anything else? Um, as you see, I have also diamonded myself up. So where would the other treasure be? What's down here? Nothing. All right, maybe I got both of them. But um, let's go take a look at this map. Hopefully it won't bring me to a treasure that I was at before. All right, so we're going to have to go over there and check it out. So I'll meet you over there. I'm slowly making my way towards this new treasure. As you see, I'm starting to get some stuff on the map. So let's find out where this treasure is. ASAP. We're heading straight towards it. I guess the... Oh, look, at there's a ship down there. Oh, there's another ship down there. Should we check it out real quick before we go to the treasure? I imagine that the, um, where is the ship? There we go. I imagine that the the treasure will probably lead to the same place. I've been wondering all that uh, lack of, um, there's another treasure. Oh boy, what do I get rid of? We can get rid of that. We don't need the shield, do we? Uh, no, actually, we don't need the suspicious stews. I think we have a couple of people we gotta kill in here, though. I hear some, I hear some stuff and things, and we'll take the paper. We'll leave everything out. Um, let me get out of here, get, catch some breath. Let's swim to the top, and I think there's one more treasure place. So I think the the main treasure thing is not here. Okay, so we got that. Let's dig down. Where is my axe? There's my axe. Let's kill it. No, it's not down there. Okay. Where where then would the other treasure be? Oh, up here. This is probably the one that I want. Yes, look at that. All right, get in there. Get in my inventory, all of you. And then we can go check out what this treasure map over here. Come on, get through there. Let's get fly. Let's swim before we can run out of breath. Let's get on our boat. Oh, I said let's get on our boat and let's check out this treasure map. And we are. And like I said, you position yourself right on the center of the axe when it's in both hands that's a, that's the a key thing both hands and now supposedly if i get off here and kind of go over here the treasure should be like right down here oh. and there it is you see how easy that was yeah i know that was too easy but that's how you do it that's how why we want oh am i missing Get up! Yeah. So we got that treasure. Um, I'm out in the middle of nowhere, so I'm going to head home. My home is at like actually, it's not too far away. But I'm going to head home and uh, catch you up with things at home. So this, guys, is my mine area. It's pretty plain. I haven't done it up at all. And that just goes up to the surface near my base. I have all my treasures over here. So I'm adding the things that I um, had gained 
from that trip including these maps um, these are all the treasure maps that I had I only have that one I'm gonna put the uh, trident in there because I, I got some books I can make that better um, we got some of that we got some of those those prismarine crystals are great for um, making those lanterns and I just got a lot more than I had thought and I got some extra food which uh, I guess will be helpful um, let me make these nuggets into those um, let me take the extras this is what I do when I have extras of stuff and I just need to conserve space is I just convert the extra stuff into blocks so I don't really have to worry about it any more blocks here it doesn't look like it and then just come back over here and put them in this like that I mean I don't have a lot of stuff just it I forgot the iron I don't have a lot of stuff yet but I will soon I'm on, not even halfway through my normal mining period for the beginning of the season uh, I might as well put the nugs there let's throw those in there and there, there, there so we got a fair amount of stuff from um, from that and I just basically wanted those hearts of the seas I need to get some nautilus shells I'm used to getting the nautilus shells with um, the AFK fishing but I'm not doing the AFK fishing this year this is the nether I don't know if I've shown it to you yet we're all got this big huge plan for the nether um, when the nether is ready um, so we're gonna clean it all out there won't be any of this scene um, it will be amazing but we're waiting for the coordinates to chop the really all the nether rack out and I would like to make a furnace so I could create some of that nether brick so I think seeing it's night time I'm gonna go take a snap wait for this guy to come over and hit me and then I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I've done did it already become day okay let's go kill this guy so I'm new to the new snapshots I haven't really been paying attention to what the snapshots are all about so I was you know I made the blast furnace I made the smoker and it looks like the smoke kicks butt I guess that whatever that is doesn't do cartography table we got the stone cutter this um, stone cutter I will say is really good because normally if I were to make um, stairs saying like this you use six blocks to make four stairs that's not right so in a stone cutter you can you know have all these options and I think it only takes two I forget but it's a lot cheaper um, to use a stone cutter to make stairs and slabs so if you're gonna make a lot of stairs and slabs definitely go with a stone cutter that that's not my thing on that so let's go check on the other stuff that I have growing so over here um, I do have everything growing still oh thank you I, I got my bamboo. I should make some uh, scaffolding and replant the extra. What I've been doing with the farms is um, been as they've been growing up, I've been just basically going like this and planting the farms, this farm at least. I'm not really paying attention to carrot or the potato farm right now because I just been making a lot of cows because I'm still in the process of enchanting books, trying to get the silk touch book still and the mending book. So that's what I do. I, I go like that and then I and I just basically come over here, feed the cows, make sure the cows are all happy, and then when I need to start enchanting again, um I go to where I enchant stuff and I will show you that later on but first before um, I get too much further into the season I wanted to go over the changes let me get away from the cows the changes that we have had um, to the server from the last server the things that are a little bit different that keep it uh, from vanilla and I'm gonna show you the areas where people are located and give you the broad overview of the map so without much going on let me show you that stuff now 
So I wanted to show you the map that we're going to be playing on this season in Mr. Craft Season 2. And as you see, it's a big island. We like the island. Last season we were a little bit too spread out, but with this island, we're able to stay within a certain amount of area. So let me show you the areas that people are taking. And the first person is Appler Enigma, and he's taken the southeast corner of the island. And you can follow him on both Twitch and YouTube. Interesting fella. Archangel, who's been around from season one, he's right next to the, the lake. Um, and you should go follow him on YouTube. And I will say that all of these links will be down in the description. So you can follow these people as we go along. Bendomion is over on the southwest side of the island in the blue there he is australian so whenever he does things he is in the future by a long 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 way and um you can follow him on youtube he does youtube videos and he is actually um i guess pretty good friends with kyle craft who was on the server for a little bit then we have Bill Zanda. And he is the jazz guy. That's the person I consider the jazz guy. Um, you can follow him on Twitch. And he is over on the west side of the island. Next we have Garden Bunny. A good friend of mine. I uh, have made some content with her in the past and plan to do some more in the future and she just basically streams but the great thing about garden bunny is that she is one of the best builders in minecraft if you like the way like scar does things and people who are really meticulous about their builds you would love garden bunny's builds and she's on the island on the south there in that green area so we do have some islands and also this is me in the top right kma's corner i took a extreme hills area um initially i was going to take the mountain top on uh, in the center of the island that goes over the lake but everybody wants that spot and that will actually be the focus like the the town headquarters of our island so something special is going on that place but I plan on um, utilizing the area to make some antique looking Egyptian type builds and also some modern, um, very modern builds, almost in the same exact location. So it's going to be a little bit weird combining the two, but one side of my uh, area faces the ocean and the other side faces the land. So. The side that faces the ocean is going to be more modern, and the side that is on land is going to be um, more ancient Egyptian type stuff. Then Kaiseri, the person who just helped me out tremendously financially, who decided to uh, help me out with the struggles that I've been having, so much love to her. And she's probably the biggest content creator on, the, on Mr. Craft right now. Um, and you should go follow her on YouTube and Twitch. She is an awesome person and she does a lot of the running of the server. Um, a lot of stuff. She keeps things in, in, in order. And uh, she is an awesome person. So go follow her. She's down at the bottom there. And also we have Queen Voldorius, one of my favorite people. Uh, he's he's kind of snarky in a good way, and I'm kind of snarky in a bad way So we can be kind of snarky and have the whole snarky spectrum covered, but I love Queen Voldorius um, I see a lot of myself in him and uh, He's he's a great YouTuber and but a better twitch guy so go follow him on twitch and YouTube and he is probably um and the person I feel closest to on the server, even though I don't spend a lot of time with him, as much time as I would like. Um, he's in England, I'm in America. I start later in the day with Minecraft, and he's, you know, he's, he's got the baby, and he's busy with the new child and stuff. But um, he is uh, a great person, so go follow 
him on YouTube and Twitch. Most likely Twitch, you'll see more of him. Railway Janny, who's been doing a lot of um, help with running the server lately, um, is our rail man. He's going to be making railroad guy um, around the whole area so we can have rails to go to all the areas and he's also i don't know if he's considering staying in the top left on the bottom left area there's another landmass and on our map he is shown over there so i think where i have him located now is his temporary base and the base his main base will be on the bottom left of that other landmass but i am not 100 percent sure of that so i'm just going to keep him where he has on the island and he is gonna make the railway like I said and go watch his YouTube and Twitch his YouTube video he just released his first episode and he made it quite unique and I love the perspective that he made the video and the music that he had so definitely go follow him and we have Resonite um, and the kind of the northwest side over there in that little peninsula area Resonite has a YouTube and Twitch, and I believe in college to be an artist. I know they are an artist, but I don't know um, for sure if he's in college. So, but a uh, awesome person and uh, an incredible artist. You should uh, join our public Mr. Craft server. I believe some of his art is there tall bunny who is i consider the owner i believe she everybody considers her the owner of mr craft without tall bunny i don't think there would be a mr craft and she is building right in the center in the lake she's gonna have an underwater area um and you can watch her on youtube she does great great um time lapses and uh I can't wait to see what she does in the water there. And just above Tall Bunny is the shopping district. Where we're going to have our shops and where we go and, um, you know, sell our goods because everybody needs a shopping district. And before I forget, down, way down near Garden Bunny is Mr. Crazy Sailor. I got him out of turn because he wasn't listed on my list I was working off of. Um, but I did not want to forget him. He's the new person, one of the new people on the server, and um, he helped me out tremendously with Kaiseri's thing, and I have yet to really get to know him, but you can follow him on Twitch, and I know by the end of the season, uh, Mr. Crazy Sailor and I will be buddies, high-fiving it, and all that. Now, with all that said, I know that's a lot to take, and there's a lot of other areas that are unexplored, in this map that will be built upon and stuff there is also a perimeter to the north and i think to the east where you can't go because um when minecraft does future updates we don't want to have that area explored just in case and also we have the area for the mining and the farming, the gathering of resources. We've got the jungle area that we have a thing going out to, the desert, the mesa, and all that stuff that you need on a server. So that goes over where everybody is. Now I'm gonna go over the changes from the, on the server to, that makes it different than 100% vanilla because you can't have a server be 100% vanilla. It's just not possible. So I'm gonna tell you the little changes that we had right now all right guys i'm on the uh, single player seed of the mysticraft 3 this is my base in single player to see that's where i have my portal and stuff and whatever you, you see what's going on this is where my base is and i just wanted to show you some things that we've changed for the server just to make things easier for a server uh some things that happen on and servers are very good to do to make things manageable and the first thing that you do on a server is uh you get rid of the fire tick um on mysticraft 3 if i were to do that this tree would not burn down 
I would place a thing there and it would be there forever. But seeing that this is a creative world and I don't have my world set up, um, the thing burned down. But we don't have that in Mr. Craft. We don't burn things down. So if like a lightning strike happens, we'll have that one fire in that one little area and that's it. Most servers do that. Um, it just makes things a lot easier. Uh, I don't do it on single player worlds, but in servers it's okay because servers are about building things and making things look good and if you build something and it gets struck by lightning and it burns down, it really kind of sucks. So yeah, that doesn't exist on Mr. Craft. Now, another thing that happens is we got these beautiful guys. There we go, he opens. And normally, um, you kill them. You might get one of these. You might just get one of these. That's that's the deal. So you get one of these. But on Mr. Craft 3, uh, it automatically drops two. So if you kill a shulker box, you get uh, two shulkers shells. Bye, we don't like you. Come on. Another thing that happens is whenever you kill the dragon, the dragon will drop an egg. That's right. I'm pretty sure every single time you kill a dragon, it will drop an egg. Also, another thing that happens, and this happens a lot of servers, is the one sleep rule. Uh, usually on servers, everybody has to go to sleep. But with certain servers, you can uh, do the one uh, sleep. So when I go to sleep on Mr. Craft, I... If I'm not the only one on, it will still turn to day. It may take a couple of seconds and more people who go to sleep in a bed at the same time, the faster it will speed up today. But only one person has to go to sleep to make that happen. Another thing that happens a lot on servers is when you get these guys. These guys like to, yeah, these guys like to pick up um, stuff off the ground. Maybe if we're lucky, you'll pick up something off the ground. But we don't like them picking up things off the ground. So on, you know, can you look at me? Um, on the Mr. Craft server, we have it so um, they are carrying something at all times. So it doesn't, you can't see them carrying it. It doesn't look like they're carrying it, but they are carrying something. It used to be pistons. I don't know if pistons work anymore. Well, he teleported, ported away. He didn't want to be around me. He's over there. But uh, yeah, Enderman griefing is off. There's a recipe for coral that we have made, but I'm not sure if it's working or not, so I'm not going to say much about it, but I will confirm it in the next episode once I have time to talk to Tall Bunny or somebody, Kayseri, um, about the recipe thing. But it's down here that we have a recipe for coral, so somehow we might be able to make coral. I'm not sure how, and I will definitely confirm that in the future episode. I'll confirm it in the next episode for you guys. The last thing that we have changed is now with you have a, a block of nether wart like this, it doesn't break down into nether like that. But we now, if we put a block of nether wart into our thing, we can break it down to nether wart. It just makes it easy. It's just kind of like how you do it with other blocks that break down into what they came from. You know, like if you make iron ingots into a block of iron, you can break it back down to iron ingots. Well, if you make a nether wart block, you can break it back down to nether wart, which is something I think the game should have in general. That's basically the only things that are a little bit different in this seasons and others. And most of it is just normal things that most uh, servers have done. But overall, it is pretty uh, normal and pretty conservative as a server goes. I mean, we don't have dropping skulls or these other weird things that Hermitcraft and other places do. But the basic things like the sleeping and the fire tick, all that is great. So now back to our regular scheduled program. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, explanation of all the different things that we're doing this season. I'm just going to continue farming a little bit. It took a little bit of time, but at least you guys know exactly what's going on. Uh, I'm going to steal some of this. One cool thing about being over here is this thing right here. When you have the extra seeds, you just go plop, 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 plop. 
and you get bone meal pop, 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 pop. because I always have a lot of extra seeds not like I really need the bone meal but you know what it's just it's a good way to get rid of the seeds um, so clear up some inventory space and eventually you're always going to use bone meal so when I got a bunch of extra seeds that is what I do so one of the blocks I got from um, Garden Bunny I actually got from Mr. Crazy Sailor and that's these bamboo things and I'm going to try and figure out how to use these bamboo things so I'm going to chop down my um, magish magnificent pile of what I call green hair that I planted up here which is all this bamboo because um, that's what it looked like a little a little green hair uh, mountain up here I'm kind of jealous he's on the ball guy fortunately or unfortunately depending on how you look at it I got a ton of um, bamboo from that like more than I can probably ever use in my lifetime unless I use it for fuel but I don't know how great a fuel source it is it's if it's like kelp blocks or whatever because kelp blocks is ultimately what I'm gonna be using as my source of food but I'm just collecting up the last little remnants of it I'm thinking of almost like sticking my face of my character there and having the bamboo look like my hair because I'm bald and it would be kind of a haha <laughs> a joke yeah so um the reason why i wanted to get the bamboo as you see there are areas like up here that are completely and i know i've uh, complained about this in the past and there's a creeper up here but it's all lit up come on die um but there's lighting glitches and mobs are spawning in these lighting glitches and that is not supposed to there we go let's get rid of that lighting glitch and um it's really frustrating because you want your space to be safe but you keep getting these lighting glitches so one thing i'm gonna do i have a cave up there it looks like i have a cave up there and over there i'm gonna light those up real quick but let me see how can i make how do i make um there it is i need string fugly i was afraid of that string is one of those things i do not have a lot of oh i got one in there so i can make six okay wait, wait a second that's a lighting update too Let's go to the mine real quick. I must have some string down there. I had enough string to make... No, no, no. 18 of those. Oh my god, that, that really kind of sucks. I really wanted more. Just to give you an idea, I guess I'll go back the other way. This is my mine. I haven't decorated it yet. I just put the basic stone block trans transparency thing and I was doing the half slabs and I'm like wait a second where's the half slabs that I'm used to why do they look like normal stone block but yeah they do now and same with the stairs so this is this whole area from here off and all the way up to the top it's gonna be cut out I'm gonna get rid of this little mountain and there's gonna be a, a statue of something to go into the mine but ultimately, the mine, I, I go swimming like this. I go swim, 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 and, and I come up over here. This is my little cave entrance, my little secret cave entrance. And um, oof. and I climb this little hill, which will all be cleaned up and made easier and terraformed. And yeah, this is my farm. So basically, uh, from out from underneath this arch that stone thing right there is where my mine is and my my base is right over here not exactly the same exact place but that would be the entrance to the world so the way i see it the entrance to my place would be from the water uh-huh yeah so now that we've got the uh things made i'm gonna make a couple of chests because um there's a crap ton of bamboo and i'm gonna throw the chest right 
here, right behind it, because we're not going to use this chest too often. It's just going to be where the extra bamboo goes. Let's get rid of the bamboo that I threw here. Let's see if we can get it from down there. Oh, oh can I? Oh, we don't have any in that one. How about this one? Oh, come on. There's a bamboo. I didn't, I couldn't reach it. Yeah, all right. So let's just throw this. It's in the way of the portal, but who gives a crap? This guy gives a crap. All right. So that is one of the areas that we need to light up. I keep getting uh, attacked by things from up here. So let's stop the things from up here attacking me. And let's just cut our way up. There's probably only a little bit of a cave here. Nothing worthy. Yeah, okay. So that is at least cleaned up. Now I need to uh, scaffold my way up to that side and clean up the cave over there. So let's use the scaffold and hopefully there's enough sc <laughs> sound like I said a town, not a... Oops. Why did you do that? Okay. So what? I just stand here and go like this? I guess? No, no? 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 How do I use this stuff? Hmm. All right. We're learning. We're learning, guys. We're trying. We're trying to learn. So if I just keep doing... That's what I wanted to do. Just go up. Yeah. All right. I heard it, so it takes a little... To get used to this. All right. So we do have some stuff to light up here. Let's light it up real quick because I don't want any mobs landing on my head. Like this guy. I don't want to be shot off that. See, part of the reason why I like this area is that this is beautiful, you know, coming out over here. Yep, that is right, Skelly. I just, like, walked right around you. I just want this stuff lit up. Should we fall down there? Why not? Nothing down here is going to kill me. Oh, maybe the Skelly. Or a creeper behind me? No. No creeper behind me, but this smelly guy. You know, de decomposing bodies smell really bad after a while, Mr. Zombie Man. Oh, hey. Is this the other skelly guy that was... I don't know, but I don't care because you're dead. Let's go up here. Light this up. Light that up. And maybe light up. See, this will all be part of the city. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this areas yet but these are all going to be part of my home and can i do something here without dying let's see Ew. i want to put some lights over here yes will i make that probably all right and let's see okay I know that's not going to light it up completely, but that helps at least. So yeah, I guess from the best part of these, is that if you go like this, they all fall. Yeah. I just need to get some uh, a collection of string going, I guess. Because that's all we got. And we can put that out. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but now I am in full diamond enchanted armor. Not the best enchants, but I did do some enchanting and got some books. We got some feather falling. I can't get this Death Strider 3 yet, but you know, anything helps. The protection, that came in a 30 enchant, that came in a 30 enchant. Not the best stuff, but I'd like to get some um, mending on them. You know, I got the 30 enchant on that. Power 5 bow, sharpness 5 sword, I gotta get unbreaking on it, efficiency 5, and I also got the fortune 3, that's how I was able to get all the diamonds. So I've been working, let me show you what I've been working at. These are all books I have made. Um, Pearson, I got this trident now, so I'm gonna add some things to it, and I also should add, uh, make a crossbow, because I got some really good, you know, Pearson 4s type stuff. Uh, quick charge and piercing four and paling five all the good stuff for crossbows and uh, tridents which i do have um so yeah i found myself a skelly spawner and um been 
basically using it. The reason why I found it, and this is kind of funny, I go to the surface real quick. I was running across here and I, and I took a quick look into the thing and I'm like, wait a second. I think it was right there. That's where the skelly spawner is. I'm like, oh, snap, there's a spawner. Let's hope it's skelly. And I went down and guess what? It was skelly. And then I claimed it for myself, but it is uh, public for everybody to use. Where's my entrance? But yeah, it, it was a good find. I just need to, I have my template of stone, basically. And I just, this is how I've been just getting my thing. They, they need full, they fall down, um, and in full health, so it's not like one hit, one kill, but this is beginning, you know, this is just beginning seed, so, so basically what I've been doing is I've just been hanging out here, and every time I get a 30 enchant, I go to the, the table over there, and I have my, my, uh, endless supply of books from all the cows I have and all the sugar cane I have, um, and I'm just trying to get a, Silk touch. It's all I want. A silk touch. And I'll be happy. Then I would want some unbreaking. Then all I want is some unbreaking three. And then I'd be happy. Then after that, all I would want is some mending books. And then then I'd be happy. I'd have my mending books. So ultimately, one set of enchant leads to the next set of enchant. So this is going to be my place until I... Uh, we take some time and get a real XP farm going somewhere. But that is going to be it for episode 2. Thank you for watching, guys. It's been a lot of fun. Now I hope that you understand what's going on in the server and I went over everything pretty well with you. I'm just going to hang out here and get some more books uh, enchanted and maybe I'll have a silk touch for the next episode. The next episode we're going to start working on some real farming. Alright guys, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed. Love you. Goodbye.